Right, so disclaimer here, this isn't how this video is supposed to have started. So I'm heading off to Caffeine Machine for the Low Life Transporters meet where we wanted to go and get a reactions video on the ID bus. So we did it before, you perhaps seen with the T7, didn't go down as well as I hope this one will. Low Life Transporters have got this meet at Caffeine Machine tonight, so we thought we'd head over. So yesterday was our Navis Wheels barbecue at THQ, went down really well, and that was where we launched the ID Buzz. We posted pictures on social media, saw people's reactions there. It seemed to go down a real treat. The people, uh, the social media went wild, Every everything, every car related page seemed to share it and reactions were pretty good. I mean, there was always a couple of negatives, but that's always the case. You can't please everybody and we're not here to do that. So today we decided we go to Caffeine and Machine and the plan was this stayed in the unit last night because uh, it had been cleaned and polished and nice and shiny. And one of the guys was gonna take it out of the unit in the morning and put it on charge, which they did. I think they forgot to press the go button. Maybe not, <laughs> maybe it just didn't work for some reason. And this is what all you electric hating people will love, this kind of stuff happens. So I went to go and get it set off, set off to Caffeine the Machine and there was 32 miles in it and it's 44 miles to Caffeine the Machine and then back again after that. So panic stations a little bit. We were supposed to be going in convoy. Mikey was supposed to be following in the grey van. Steve was going to follow in his white van and we were going to meet Dan Chambers on route and we were going to convoy down to Caffeine the Machine. Plans changed a little bit because I'm now here. So they're going to meet me here, but thankfully, not far from me is Rugby Station and they have a super fast charger. So I've been sitting there for, let's have a look, uh, 16 minutes now and I'm nearly at 60% charge. So these things are mental. So I'm used to charging at work where we've got 11 kilowatt hour charger and then at home it's like seven or nine or something like that. Yeah, so currently getting 88 kilowatts. It did peak at like 150. Pretty crazy really how quickly these things can charge. Impressed actually for those people that hate petrol and say there's no charge network, I'm at this, station here and there's probably four five cars charging not including the teslas and the tesla bays probably another six or seven spare chargers so all the rumors of queues and stuff aren't true or not that i've experienced so far anyway and the reality is these kind of stations are all over the place and rugby service station is a nice station could nip in there and get myself greg's i'm actually just going to sit here and do a little bit of work while i wait for the guys but anyway off on a tangent so once the guys turn up and we've got a bit more charge we'll head off to caffeine the machine we'll park this thing up with the low life transporter guys and get their opinion i like those guys opinion because they're van guys they know how to make a van look cool because most of them all modified them themselves so be a good indication of whether the van guys like them and also the van guys like this and also other the, all the other people at Cafe in a machine that are there that are just car heads. So we'll see what their reaction is. Right, so here we are out of Caffeine and Machine, the place where people come that love vehicles. So these guys here will be able to give you the best opinion of whether they rate or hate the ID bus. So this place is full of transporters. There's also a Porsche day on. But these are the guest best guys to ask. For first of all, what do you think, honest opinion, rate or hate the ID bus? Yeah, I love it. I'll be honest. I thought when I saw them in pictures, I thought I didn't like them, but seeing it here, it's just awesome. Yeah. And is it just the ID bus or do you like the modification? Yeah, it's the mods, I think. Yeah. yeah helps yeah definitely thank definitely. you very much no thank worries. you now look where's it here where's, you were in the last one when i came here for the t7 weren't you yes i was yeah so right let, hang on let's get in shot id buzz what do you think rate or hate it i quite like it quite if like it, it if it was a different color yeah i think it would yeah what color do you reckon would be better all black all black i, I all wanted black. an all black one but i couldn't get one yeah but i went with this because the original marketing material was yellow with gray on the top yeah. the very original images they did was yellow over gray okay so there you go but, but you, the, it's, the you quite like it and everything in it yeah. I'm, I'm real mate seats what do you think to the wheels the wheels are beautiful okay. i love the way you've got like the honeycomb from the front that's it on the wheels yeah so that pattern carries yeah. on perfect good thank you very much no. Tell me honestly, honestly, what do you think to the ID bus? Weird shape. Weird shape, yeah. Anything else you like, think, hate or like about it? The hexagon shape thing. You like them? Wheels. The wheels, you like the wheels? Yeah. Good, I like the wheels. Do you, what, what do you like? Do you like the wheels? I like the wheels. The wheels are great. Good. So, oh, so big question, do you rate it or do you hate it? Right. There we go. Right, next up we've got Ian. Ian, I just caught Ian taking a picture of it. I didn't know whether it was a bad thing or a good thing. So Ian, what do you think? Do you like it? Um, yeah, I've liked air-cooled and water-cooled transporters yeah. all my life. And whilst I'm a little electric sceptic, they are a good looking thing. The design's really cool. I was actually intrigued because it's the first one I've seen close up in yeah. real life. Okay. And it's... certainly the first modified one. Okay. So rate or hate? Oh, rate. Good. 
Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you. So we've just spotted Michael looking at it. So Michael looks like he's coming on a bike. But you do have a T5. I do have a T5. So you yes. have a transporter, so you appreciate a transporter. Yeah. Right. ID Buzz, rate or hate it? I rate it. You rate it. You rate really them? cool. You like it? Yeah. Uh, do you like them? Have you seen them standard? Not many people have even seen I them have, on the road. I have, I have. And when I saw this, I was trying not to like it. I can't not like it. Yeah. Perfect stance. Perfect wheels. Good, thank you. Right, hang on, for camera first. So randomly bumped into Mike Brewer. There you go. How you doing? So, no, no better person to give an opinion on this than you. Well, I, I mean, Volkswagen probably spent, what, a billion euros developing this and getting it comfortable for the road. Yeah. And it took you five minutes to undo all of that. Yeah, we've ruined it. Elastic band, <laughs> wheels and tyres on it. Yeah. Ruined the suspension. Absolutely destroyed it. Uh, and yeah, all that engineering R&D all went out mm. the window. And that's why you've got no fillings in your teeth. Because <laughs> exactly. you've rattled them all out. But actually, it now looks really bloody cool, doesn't there it? There we go. And it is an eyeful. You can see people walking around and really taking notice of it. Uh, I did consider actually buying an ID Buzz because um, I've got electric car, got an electric uh, a Porsche. But we did consider one of these, but what put me off is a couple of faults of them, I think. Go on. Uh, well, you can't open the rear windows, no. which I think is a big fault, and there's no ventilation in the rear, Okay. Uh, which is a bit of a problem as well. So the um, long wheelbase one in the States does have rear windows. Yeah, but we don't have it. Uh, no, you're talking yet. about the States. Yeah. You know, they get all yeah. the juicy stuff. We They got burgers and rock and roll. Yeah. You know, we got Hillman Minxes and ID Buzzes with no windows that open in the rear. Yeah, so we're working on flush sliding windows for these. So these will there'll be replacements, swap these out, put our windows in, job done. That's you. That's us. Not the humble person out there in the street. I know where we're selling them though. I mean I've, you what you've done to this looks incredible. I Thank mean you. It, well for one, your interior is uh, spectacular. Better than the standard. It looks absolutely amazing. There we go. Seats. The Alcantara inserts the leather seats, what you've done with it, and to, to match the outside, I think you've done a fantastic job. Great. Um, yeah. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much, Mike. It's an absolute pleasure and good luck with your business. Thank well you. Well done. Cheers. Right, bumped into Steve. Next, Steve. Um, what do you think to the ID Buzz? So my honest opinion, I yeah. guess this is uh, going to throw back to all transporters, is when I had a T5, I didn't like the 5.1. Okay, when yeah. I had a 5.1, I didn't like the T6. Yeah, fair enough. I've now got a T6 okay. and I love the 6.1. Oh, okay. But with the Buzz, I hated it, but like the five, the six, the 6.1 in the hours, it's actually grown on me massively. Similar. And especially with what you've done with yours, the wheels, I'm not a fan. Okay. I'm not sure, I know where you've gone with it. Yeah. And I know because the futuristics or the concept looks, looks stunning, the lines, everything. The wheels for me, it wants something different. What would you do? And wheels? I don't know what I'd put on it. So would you I put something spoky on? I, because it's electric, Yeah. I haven't really seen yet anything of the new electric era of alloys yeah. that's actually caught my eye that would make me yeah. advertently go out and buy it. Yeah. So I look forward to what you're going to bring out, knowing yeah. what you guys do. We do um, have another set of wheels for this. I might surprise people then. There's two sets. We bought two sets. Oh, in. there is. Yeah. So and the other one are quite different, but we'll save that for another time. It's definitely grown on me. As I say, it wasn't a fan to start off with. Yeah. My missus is actually the one. She's the one in the background saying she wants the buzz. So let's see how we get on. Good. Um, I, mean, I can tell you, it drives amazing. Does you it? wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. I mean, the inside yeah. of it is yeah. just outstanding. Megapact. We've got the shuttle. Yeah. So with the shuttle, I mean, people maybe put off by it, whatever, but no, the shuttle for us yeah. actually really works. Um, so I guess I'd probably want, what's the new one? Multivan, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's not the same, but that's the new version, isn't it? T7 over. Multivan, yeah. So, yeah, we, we did, we've got one of them and we did a video here. It's going to be oh, you have? Yeah. So I'm looking probably with the 6.1, but yeah. I believe this will probably be very soon on our list. Good. Simple question, rate or hate? Right. Right. Thank you. So we bumped into Andy Kelly here. So Andy knows this. They're already, don't you, Andy? I do indeed. Yeah. Because your guys wrapped the top half for us. They did. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. when you saw it, a few of the bits were done, but not all this was done. Exactly. Yeah. So Andy, yeah. genuinely, be honest. What do you think to it? Well, everything that's better though. This looks like absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. So, so yeah. you like it? Rate it or hate it? Rate it definitely. Good. Thank 100%. you very much. Thank you very much. No Cheers, worries, Andy. Mate. So I was just standing over there and I spotted Tom and Anton looking at the ID buzz. So no prompting. <laughs> what do you think to it? Tell me the truth. Very like smart. Yeah. Very low. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that's not straight to the factory. Uh, uh, the no, it's got our air suspension on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. The wheels. Yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. It really stands out from the crowd. Yeah. yeah. What, really what has been done to it? Can you tell me? Yeah. So, oh, there's a whole lot, a whole, whole YouTube series on it. But okay. <laughs> wrap the top, air suspension, wheels are the obvious ones. Grill, colour change, flip, lower lip, rear spoiler, full seat trim, bunch of other stuff I've forgot, but they're the obvious things. Simple question, rate or hate? I'd rate it. Rate yeah. it. Massively it's solid. It, yeah. 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 Lovely. Yeah, Definitely wheels rate. stand up on a mile. Yeah, they're love or hate. I love them because I designed them. Yeah. <laughs> but I can see why some people hate them. Some people, I think, I don't know, they're 
I Mark particularly, Cohen. yeah. Like you design these wheels? Yeah, but there's a lot of dish to it. I think some people would like to see something a bit more spooky. But the thing is, behind there, they're really ugly. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, not, there's nothing particularly <laughs> nice to see. So that's why we went for that kind of design. But very nice. Yeah. Looks really, smart. Really cool. Definitely rate. Right. Is this stock color as well? The split? Is so the the bottom oh, color, okay. yeah. So that's. Uh, I think it's called lime yellow, which okay. I think I've seen. You've perhaps seen it on Golf GTIs. And there's a few golfs that are that color. Yeah. Um, but we did it two tone like this because the original images that VW released, I don't know how many years ago, eight years ago, I think, they yeah. did yellow with grey over the top. Nice. So we wrapped the top grey oh, to match nice. it to like. Oh, so it was yellow all over before. Yeah, the whole thing is yellow, and then we've just had the top wrapped Very in, nice. in the grey. So what have you done inside? So inside, oh, let me just open it up. So the main thing that's obvious is the seats yeah. are all retrimmed. So the, the top of the seats here. Um, actually from a Skoda and then oh. all this is retrimmed but other than that not, not a lot smart. done but yeah there what we go so about 200 so yeah they yeah. claim sort of 250 ish but real world is about 200 miles I think yeah, yeah. so not quite a tank of diesel just yet no but then I've just <laughs> fast charged this here in like 22 minutes and I got wow. to 80% from about 20 I think in 22 minutes at a fast charger so Great. as long as you factor that in yeah, 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 yeah. stop yeah. off for a coffee and a yeah, Greg's sausage roll you just have to be more organised <laughs> yeah. 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 no one yeah. could do 600 miles in one trip yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just stop so no, yeah no, no. No. I think we will do a trip over to Germany in it soon and just see how realistic that is nice. appreciate it thanks very much Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Right. So we, you, well, last time we came here, Steve, and did the T7, you were here, weren't you? I was. So you gave us an opinion of the T7. It was about 40 degrees and I was absolutely sweating, but yeah. we had a good look over the T7 we did. and it gave my opinion. So. Yeah. So I saw Steve on the way in and you were at our barbecue yesterday anyway. So you had a chance to have a bit of look at this yesterday, although you, did, you weren't aware they were electric. I, I had no idea until just because you drove past me on the mm. way in and I thought that didn't make any noise that's got to be full electric I yeah. had no clue ID Buzz was full electric oh right yeah, yeah I so thought the... it must be a hybrid or something uh, but it's full electric so anything with ID in from VW is electric so... there you go you you'd go. think I'd know that, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, there you go you learn something new every day yeah you've had a look around it yesterday you've had a look around it today what do you think to it? as top, the whole package it looks absolutely superb all the different mods you've put on it kind of build it into what I would say is a well done upgrade. There's enough balance on the sides, the lows. I mean, I've seen a standard one and I'll say this, I didn't realise they're as big as they were. When right. I saw the stock height one, get the electric for a minute. I had no idea that they were as big as they were. I figured by the name it's going to be quite a small vehicle. Yeah. It's actually really a big vehicle, but now you've pimped it out, you will turn, you've raised the bar because the kit, the size of those wheels. Actually, they're the same as standard, so they come with 21s as standard. So this particular version, this is the uh, first edition, comes with 21s. I think being big silver dish wheels makes them look bigger. Now, that's the original tyre as well, but we've just, yeah. But, See, um, I guess it's because, again, put it as a package, the rear spoiler, the extras, the interior is yeah. my favourite. Those seats look like you travel a long way in them, and they also stand right out. So you've done a really good job of keep getting the race and look at the top, but that you can tell where your backside's going to be. You've retained the comfort and tied it all in with all the trim. And I'm a bit of a stiffler for stuff like that. I look at that kind of thing and I see you haven't, nothing's been left short of perfect in there. Thank you. Um, so I actually think that, yeah, I'm fine. If you want to let me run this one for a little bit, <laughs> I'll leave mine and, and I'll give you a full we'll, review. After we'll see how far away do you live from here? An hour. An hour. So you might just have enough charge to get there. Oh yeah, I forgot about the charge. <laughs> That's the thing, you say the seats look comfortable to do a long journey in, but you have to stop and charge it every 200 miles. That's so. the thing, so if this is a full electric and that's on air, yeah. how's that work? It's the same, it has a 12 volt battery under the seat, same as a regular vehicle, so connects So you that can way. actually stick air on fully electric vehicles? That's Absolutely. That's another thing up there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> cool. So, rate or hate? I'm going to rate that. Thank you very yeah, much. I'm going to rate that. Um, there we go. I, I actually am quite surprised that standing over there, I've just shot over here because I'm actually a YouTuber myself and I'm gonna, I've, I've come to film this because it really stands out. So I am definitely put me down on the rate list. Good. And what's your YouTube channel, Steve? So I'm on Steve Field, uh, nice and original. So I'm sure Andy will put a link below. Head over because basically we like the same things. Yeah. 
and all the content that I produce is based in and around these kind of events. So, I bet most people that follow us already follow you anyway, yeah, but if no, you don't... I said that in, yeah. the, in the video from yesterday. <laughs> if they don't know who you are yeah. already, where have they been? <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, yeah go but there you go. Th Thank you very much, Steve. Really yeah, cool follow Steve's channel. Shows. Steve does loads of cool content. He manages to get to loads of shows and stuff, which we don't have a chance to do. So you were at Camper Jam. Camper Jam, yep. uh, this one tonight, your event. Yep. So was it lifted and lowered? Uh, no, uh, preface lift. Yep with barbecue from yesterday there'll be a video coming up on friday for that and tatton park's the next one so Good. i shall look out for that park. nice one thank you very much steve you're welcome Cheers. Yeah, they were just driving out giving us the love sign so what do you think of the id buzz we love the id buzz you saw it yesterday anyway yeah. didn't you top car uh, yeah. top van mate sorry thank you very much cheers <laughs> see ya i think i'm going to call it a day there before i find somebody that doesn't like it <laughs> but no genuinely i think it's safe to say this has been the most looked at vehicle here today um it was parked on the grass for a bit and then we moved it down here and everybody looks at it. I think a lot of people look at it because they don't know what it is. They think it's futuristic or a wheelie bin. Um, but yeah, generally, it's gone down really well. I'm sure that people do. You get the comments, people don't like the wheels, they don't like the colour or whatever. But generally, it's been shown a whole lot of love. And these are car people here. This is what Caffeine the Machine is all about. This place is about people that have a passion for vehicles. Yes, none of us are ever going to stop loving a combustion engine. None of us are going to ever stop loving the diesels and the petrols. But it seems there is a space for this and people like it. Maybe it's just because it's different and because of what we've done for it. But as a rule, I think it's certainly gone down well. Mike Brewer likes it, Steve Field likes it. That's enough for me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do press the like button. Share it with anybody that's interested in ID buzzes or not interested in ID buzzes or interested in caffeine and machine or interested in Mike Brewer. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to get notifications when new videos come out. There you go. Make sure you go and watch Steve's video because he's getting better clips of it than we've done. There he is. And as always, thanks for watching.